Happy holidays, everyone, to celebrate the season and show my appreciation and thanks for all of your support. I am offering a 25% off coupon and I hope everyone has a merry, merry season filled with joy, love, and laughter. Cancer, welcome to your reading. We're looking at the overall energy of your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions coming into the reading. And at the bottom of the deck, we have your person feeling very like they want to fight for you. You know, very sort of an egocentric uh, competition. They feel as though they have to compete for your attention. They're coming in with this desire for a long-term commitment, building something. A legacy is what we leave behind. You know, at the, at the end of the day, you know, as we have our little sundown, this person really wants to create a life with you of abundance, of happiness, of commitment, of joy. It looks as though right now your person is very unsettled, feeling very bored in their life, very overall just not really highly engaged. So we do have Leo energy, we have Virgo energy, we have Cancerian energy here. So they're bored without you. So we'll see that. So. Cancer, the overall energy from spirit, the messages here, are that your person is in this movement towards adventure. They see you as someone who's very exciting. They enjoy you. They have laughter with you. But they want adventure with you. They want a very exciting life with you. The Feast of Plenty says that there, you know, choices have consequences, and that may be something that we really see unfold in this relationship. Caterpillar opportunity. So your person sees you as a tremendous opportunity in love. So let's jump in and look at this thoughts, what your person thinks about you, Cancer. So they feel as though they have to defend themselves for something they've done. They've put themselves in a bubble. They feel a little bit hypersensitive about any sort of situation that they could have created with you. There's a sense of fire in their belly. They want to fight for the relationship. But they also know that, you know, that it looks like for some of you, this person may have disappeared for a while. They want a new beginning with you, but it does look like for many of you, this person walked away. But here's the thing, when they think of you, they want to make a substantial offer because you're their happiness. They want a new beginning in love, with which, you know, the Ace of Coins and the Fool card go together quite beautifully. So when they think of you, they think of their happiness, but they also, when we look at this Feast of Plenty, choices have their consequences. So the energy coming in with their in their heart space is they feel like they you know sometimes people unravel themselves they wound themselves because choices have consequences when we look at the swords here sticking in this globe we see the four of swords here so your person really in their in their heart space this is their feelings they absolutely feel victorious with you they feel proud to be with you this person, again, feels as though they have to defend themselves for something that they did, probably walked away or took a break or, you know, that can even be ghosting, but it, they seem to have left the building, so to speak, and now they want to return. So when we get this energy of Capricorn Queen, they really feel that you're very reliable, very nurturing. They feel as though they would like to nurture the relationship. They're very fearful, though. You know, they're trying to sort of see what you're doing and gain enlightenment here with the Page of Swords, spying on you. You would never know it. They could be, you know, driving by your house at night spying on you. It could be on the internet surfing, just looking for your picture, uh, surfing. But your person feels in their heart space very fearful, very worried, very concerned, feeling as though they, you know, they they always cared about you very deeply. That is a mommy card. I mean, that is a love card, uh, but somebody who shows it in very practical ways. But your person is feeling exceedingly vulnerable, as they should, because the Eight of Cups indicates that, you know, they thought about, you know, the reunion. They're thinking about the reunion with you, but that's a clarifier. They want a new beginning, but you know, they've got reason to be very worried that you will not take them back 
or that you don't even want to talk to them. Now, in their intention, we do see, oh my God, the Seven of Swords is here twice. So your person was not dealing honestly with you. And again, we have actions have consequences. So in their intentions, we get the Page of Swords again. They're spying on you. They're spying on you. Um, the Seven of Swords is appearing twice in their intentions. So they see you as a rock star in their fulfillment of love. They see you as the highest level of love that they could have in their lives. But they've held back their emotions. They held back giving to you in the relationship, but now they want to give to it. But we see your person was dishonest with you at some really core level. Your person was dishonest with themselves, with you, and they're still carrying this. I don't like the energy. I call it the sneaky Pete energy. It, to me, for the most part, it is. it can be quite treacherous. It's like, I'm going to win at all costs, and their intention is to get you back, no matter what they have to do. You know, and we see this sort of caddy, you know, they see this as an opportunity with you that they would like to take advantage of. So we are going to clarify this momentarily, but we're going to look at their actions before we get to the clarifiers. Your person is woke up one day and they just, they have this epiphany that they want to manifest you back in their life, that their life doesn't feel as rich, as stable. They know that they blew the foundation with you and the action they're going to take is to manifest you back. This is a very clean, this is the best part of the reading by far is their actions. They're manifesting you. We have the magician. That's the chemistry between the two of you. It's undeniable. It's like a lightning strike when the two of you are together in a very sexy, positive way. There's a lot of tremendous love that flows between the two of you. We have the Nine of Cups here, and we have the Nine of Cups. That's like joy, happiness, laughter, uh, you know, eat a little, uh, uh, drink a little, eat a little dinner, make love, get down tonight. I, I just botched that, but you know what I mean. I say that. Do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. But it is eat, drink, and be merry. So I sort of blended the two. So, you know, they have that feeling about you. They want to make an offer, and that is, that's their thought. And here they are doing it. In between, it's pretty messy. So we get this nine of cups. Nine of cups with one more cup is a ten of cups, which is marriage. And so we see them recognizing that without you in their life, there's no foundation. They're not happy. Their life feels like it's probably unraveled since the whatever this was. You or them or whoever, it always can, um, you know, it can, it can uh, flip from side to side. You can reverse the energies always in a tarot reading. But we get the High Priestess Cancer, that's you. They see you as, this is Divine Feminine. Now, you know, we think of the Priestess as Divine Feminine, but this is the purity of the spirituality in terms of Divine Feminine. So they see you as having just the purest heart in the world. They see you as their soulmate, two hearts beating as one. That's not a regular Two of Cups. This is the Naked Heart Tarot, and it's an exceptional card of love. Soulmate energy oftentimes has a real twin flame over, er, overture to it. But they're coming in with an offer. Roses, a really beautiful love note here sealed with wax, a nice picnic, a fancy horse. Uh, they're coming in pretty casual in terms of their actions, but the, what they want is not casual. A bottle of champagne, a dinner, an offer. But this is oftentimes the ring when we look at uh, when we look at engagement, this offer is a substantial offer. So we're going to look right now, we're going to look at a couple of these cards to try to clarify what they mean. Why is the Eight of Cups here? What brought about that Eight of Cups? Okay, Two of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. So there must have been a situation in which you may have had competition and your person is wanting to come together with you. They want to leave whatever this is, this conflict that happened in the past. They want to leave the boredom. They want to come towards you because they want a new beginning. And the Two of Cups and the Two of Cups, look at that. They're just exquisite cards. 
You know, the, the Nine of Pentacles is you're single, ready to mingle, looking good. You have everything going for you in the world. But look at these two love cards. Profound. We see the red roses here, the red roses here, the Two of Cups, two hearts beating as one. So that Eight of Cups means they want to get out of this feeling of boredom, of, you know, just really feeling conflicted about what they want. They want to take action. So when we look at the Four of Swords and the, the Moon card, what are these cards telling us? Why is it here? Ah, the Ace of Pentacles again. Your person feels as though they wounded you and they need to make amends. And they want to make an offer. An offer that they're not sure that you will take because we have the Moon card. But the clarifiers for the Moon are the Nine of Cups. Now we have the Nine of Cups three times. You are their happy place. You know, other than the sun, the nine of cups is the happiest card in the deck. It's also <clears throat> the card of wish fulfillment. The empress, they see you as their empress. But the eight of swords, nine of swords, they've been losing sleep. They did something that was really must have felt to them anyway. They have a lot of guilt. That's why they feel so defensive. We see what they want. You know, they want to win at any cost. Uh, but we really see your person as being fearful, just absolutely being fearful that, that they've caused a wound that cannot be healed and that you would have no good reason to really even want to come back to them. So we have this beautiful Aquarius energy. It is a card of healing in their intentions is to heal the relationship. And the Seven of Swords, they have, you know, they're going to do anything to heal the relationship, including lie to you. So I have to say straight up, you need to watch. You need to watch what they say. You need to make sure that this person follows through and it, they do what they say they're going to do. We have the Son of Wands, player energy. So this person is really about doing the horizontal mambo for sure. Do they love you? Absolutely, they love you. But that sneaky peek card is coming in like they definitely want to have this sensual energy. Eat, drink, be merry, do a little dance, get down tonight, etc. Why are they holding back here in terms of their intentions? Daughter of Wands. Okay, so now we have the Page of Wands. They want to throw caution to the winds. They want to give to the relationship. Why do we have the Seven of Swords here? Five of Swords, lots of deep conflict. So your person, it's, this is their intentions with you, but I don't see them intending to cause conflict. But they are willing to win at any cost. Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords. This person, <laughs> like would, I mean, it's like they would crawl over hot coals for you. And, you know, they would do anything or say anything that they have to do to win you back. That is a Daughter of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. They feel very vulnerable. They really do. When we get a lot of Page energy, there is a vulnerability, almost a childlike vulnerability. So they see you as looking really younger than ever, more vibrant than ever. Why do we have the Tower card here in terms of their actions? Oh, it comes out of the blue. We have the lover's card. That's a Gemini energy. That's soulmate energy. And so like a crack of lightning coming out of the blue, they manifest you or they, they try to manifest you. They reach you when you least expect it. You're over here going, well, yeah, I wish they'd show up. But you just don't expect it. You don't see it coming. The lover's card, you know, really speeding ahead, flying ahead. In, and, you know, birds are always messengers. But... This is a card of manifestation. This person has all the tools to manifest you back. You have absolute feelings of love for them. You know, you may have been waiting for this person to show up again, but we get the energy here of the, let's see what the, uh, what's their happy place with you? That nine of cups, they're so damn happy with you. It's like, oh, the star card. All right, so that makes sense. They see you as a rock star of women or, you know, spirits. If you're a man, it's okay. You're still the rock star. Your person absolutely does not want anyone else. They only have eyes for you, Cancer. And they've really made some mistakes here. They've, they've hurt the situation. They want back in. 
they weren't really they didn't have clarity about what they wanted with you but let's see what spirit says will be the spiritual outcome at this time in the relationship strength the ancient oak spirit love that energy like an oak tree is being put back together we have a tree here getting hit by lightning that's that epiphany that tower moment when they say i can't live without my cancer just can't do it and we have change great dragonfly spirit well after all this sort of energy here it's important that you have change and now we also have knowledge okay so this person has learned some lessons and that is what they they now see an opportunity only because they are coming in in a much more positive lovely loving manner to greet you and to love you so cancer i am broadcasting from chicago please tell me where you're watching the video from leave it in the comments below along with any feedback you may have or questions and sending you love from chicago take care cancer bye bye